All right, what up, you guys? I'm going to make a 2013 what's in the bag right now, so let's get started. All right, my first wedge is a 60-degree Cleveland uh, 588 forged wedge with the tour zip grooves. It has uh, 8 degrees of bounce. Uh, it's the single dot option. Here's the face. Here. Uh, it's got the True Temper uh, Wedge Flex Dynamic Gold Torque Concept shafts with the uh, cross line grips. And then the second wedge is a 56 with 14 degrees of bounce. Um, it's starting to get a little bit raw on the sole. That's okay though. <clears throat> uh, it's got the same shaft and grip. Third wedge is 52 Cleveland 588 forged, uh, 8 degrees of bounce, the two dots, and the same shaft and grip. Okay, now my irons, I go. Four through pitching wedge in the tailor made MC irons. Forged. Uh, True Temper Dynamic Gold S300 shafts. And uh, Golf Pride Tour Velvet Grips. There's what it looks like in a dress. Uh, yeah, I had these for a while. They're good irons. Plan on keeping them in the back for a while. Yeah. Four through pitching much. Okay, hybrid is the let's see, Adams Super S idea hybrid. Um, it's kind of glaring on the camera. Let's see. We can, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Super S idea of VST. His face. There's his dress. I don't know if you, you kind of see it. it. says Super right there. It has a slot that goes all the th way through the face. Um, yeah, it's a nice hybrid. It's got the Matrix uh, Kujo shaft. Flex. Um, yeah, it's a really nice hybrid. I haven't had it for too long. Kind of new in the bag, um, but it works pretty good. I don't really care what brand it is as long as it works for my game, which it does. That's good. Okay, three wood. It's RBZ. Tour spoon thirteen degree. Um, it's got the let's turn this around Matrix Ozic XCON seven stiff flex with a lambkin. Uh, Aria Real Gen, Real Three Gen, standard, the white one. Uh, here's what it looks like a dress. Face. Yeah, this is one of my favorite clubs in the bag. Um, the only difference between this and the regular one is that it's got a lot smaller head. It spins a lot less. Um, and it's got a shallower face and a better shaft, an upgraded shaft. Um, it's heavier, I think, and it's a nicer shaft for the stock offering. And uh, yeah, it makes a lot better. I don't think I'll be changing the shaft anytime soon. Um, my driver and hybrid have aftermarket shaft, or like real shafts in them. So, but this one's good. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice club. Great off the tee and everything. So sweet. Let me just get the head cover back on.
great off the tee and off the deck with that club. Okay, driver. I guess this is kind of like the newest club in the bag. Um, sorry guys. It's the Tyrus 913 D2 9.5. Um, standard weight. You have to buy the weights aftermarket. Um, which I think is kind of dumb. Uh, the setting, probably can't see, even see it, but it's B2, um, which is, I think, just one option of draw. And then the shaft is the Diamana, uh, the D plus whiteboard. It's like the version two whiteboard, 72 gram uh, diff flex. It's like the lowest launching shaft, well one of the lowest launching shafts, so I don't want to say that. It's really low launching shaft, really low spin. It keeps the ball flight down. There's a face. This club looks really nice at a dress. Um, yeah. There you go. It's got the Titleist um, BCT uh, stock Golf Pride uh, Tour Velvet. Oh yeah, and then the Adams has the stock uh, Lambkin cross line grip on it. Yeah, I've been hitting this drive really good lately. Um, I mean, it goes far, which is, I guess, all you want. <laughs> um, and straight. It goes really straight. Um, I had the R11S before, and it was spinning a ton. So I switched out for this, and it's awesome. Uh, suits my game really well, like I said. And, yeah, it's a great club. I'm going to set the camera down and put the head cover on you guys. Sorry. Sorry guys. All right, putter. Uh, it's the Scotty Cameron Studio Select Newport Two. Um, so you can see that thirty-five inches um, with a Scotty Cameron Pistolero, something like that grip. It's just the Golf Pride one, with the red Dancing Cameron. Yeah, it looks nice to dress, just the answer style. Um, it's got the tapered shaft, which looks nice. And on the back, it's got Cameron, and then the three dots, and the black sight line. And on the face, it has Scotty Cameron in gray, and the milk face right there. Yeah, it's a nice putter. I'll show that right there. All right. And I have two alignment sticks in the bag. Right there. Um, just black ones. And then my bag. It's the Ping uh, 4 Series, black and white. Um, yeah, super nice bag. Alright, let's get into the bag. This pocket down here. I've got a Nike glove for when I practice. It's just like their cheap one. I don't know what you call it. Um, then I've got uh, Edwin Watts golf glove. These are super cheap and they're pretty nice gloves, so like five bucks, medium. And then I've got a uh, Footjoy Cyflex glove from Shields, and it's a medium. Yeah. Then I've got the little booklet. Sorry, the little booklet thing for the 913. And I've got the 913 wrench right there. Yeah. Okay. Then in here, I've got a range tee for the driving range. It's like an adjustable thing. And then I've got just my normal tees. I just got a huge bag of these, like, let's see if I can read it. Pride Pro Length Plus. Um, it's got the blue line on it. See, so it. Yeah. I just got a ton of those in there. And then I'll keep my water I keep my water bottle in here. Uh, golf balls. 
Um, probably one X's. This is a, kind of a couple sleeves of those. Um, the new ones. Yeah, they're really nice. And I've just got some Pro One X's right there. I think these are the older ones, but I don't know. But yeah, Pro One X's. Come on. All right. Um, valuables pouch. I've got a Callaway rangefinder. Yeah, it's just basic one. It's nice enough. I don't need to spend like four hundred dollars on a rangefinder. Um, and then in here, the big pocket, I've got like Sharpie, pens, divot tools, ball markers, and I've got some Advil, and some chapstick, and i got the rain hood, of course, and then I've got a beanie, it's kind of cold right now, it's the Mizuno, just a Mizuno beanie, got it, golf smith. Um, yeah, I think that's it, um, so thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to start making videos again. Um, yeah, so see you guys there.